guys what's up what's good my lovelies so we're gonna start with a reading for the sign of cancer okay so bottom of the deck all right so cancer for a lot of you i'm feeling that um you could be dealing with someone here who probably either wanted commitment with you or you, a few of you I'm getting that you guys are already in a marriage with this person out here, okay, or already in a commitment out here. Could be a separation here for some for some time. Now, I do feel that there is a lot of wishful thinking, okay, or there is just a lot of um, confusion, okay, when it comes to you. What I'm feeling here is that you probably want to work things out with this person out here, okay. You have probably put in a lot of work, a lot of effort into this connection all this while. Uh, you've been very hardworking. You've tried to find out what this person likes. You've tried to uh, literally um, work on this connection, putting in your all, okay? And you wanted to have like this teamwork collaboration from this person out here. You wanted to work with them. You wanted to be on the same page with them. And you were ready to put in, okay? all your energy into this year however i do feel that you have come to a point of realization that no matter how much work you put in there could be a lack of appreciation from this person's side you could probably feel that you're constantly hitting a wall all right and this person just doesn't get the point is what i'm getting here there is a lot of emotional disappointment from your side maybe you want more from this person but this person refuses to give you anything more than breadcrumbs so this person keeps breadcrumbing you all the time, all right? So for a lot of you, if you want commitment from this person, I feel that this person here kind of kept you on hold. They gave you everything that you wanted except the part that you wanted. If I that makes any sense here. But I do see that you are still ready to put in the work or still ready to put in the effort. But however, every single time you put in the work here, you're just disappointed emotionally over and over again. For a few and few, I'm getting here that probably you stop putting in work in this connection here and maybe you explored your options, but none of the options made you very happy. Just This is just for a few of you, okay? That there is just this lack of discontentment within you. <clears throat> All right. The other thing I'm getting here is that I think that you have put an end, okay? There are chances that you could have put an end to this connection or this connection is going through a huge change a huge alteration a huge but uh, this is more so like i feel that no, rather than the relationship being a change i think you are going through a transformation right now okay so i feel all this while you were holding on to a connection which was just not making you happy which was just not serving you you know a connection where um, you were only holding on to it a either because you were too scared to be lonely or b because you had invested so heavily into the connection and it was very difficult for you to hold to, to let it go you know, a lot of times we like to stay in a relationship or even in a job where uh, something is familiar. It's known. The stability is there. Okay. And either we're too lazy or then we're just too fearful about taking a leap of faith and going into the unknown and trying, starting from scratch with someone else, brand new. Okay. So I think you were holding on to this connection a lot of, for a very long time. You were resisting an ending or resisting a change out here. The change where you probably knew that this is the change that is required in order for you to move forward and move away from this person here. But you were resisting it. I feel that you could have fought and st stood up for yourself also for a lot of times, okay? I feel that you gave in to a lot of negative communication also. You probably gave in to a lot of mind games. This person kind of plays a lot of mind games with you. Most of the time, I feel that this person acts out of their best interest, okay? They don't have their best interest, uh, you know? They don't have your best interest in mind. And you kind of realize that now. So there is this kind of a huge epiphany that you're feeling where you just feel the need to let it go, you know, to finally let, let it go. Maybe there were a lot of feelings that you were holding on to. Maybe there was uh, resistance and um, holding on to the past of some sort, okay? Which is this current relationship, okay? So I do feel that you're holding on to the past. So even though you knew that you were repetitively, no matter how much work you put in, right? You were always upset. You were always disappointed. And you still kept going, kept going, kept going. You know, you went on and on and on. I feel now you are reaching a point where you're like, you know what? I need to change. I need to do what's good for me. I need to walk away. I need to move on here. So you are ready to walk away and letting go of any kind of um, mind games. You're not ready to compromise anymore. But you just feel the need to walk away and surrender, okay, to a situation where you feel it's just not worth it. 
okay so there could be some kind of negative communication here or there could just be some kind of arguments and conflicts where you just have reached a point where you know what babe this is not worth it like you tell yourself that you know what this is not worth it why am i fighting what am i fighting for you know so you've realized to a point that it was probably you who was holding on to this although you saw a lot of red flags in the connection you were still holding on to it okay uh i do feel here that you are probably now moving forward here uh either you are very confused about uh what to do next uh in your love life or you have a lot of options okay you're pretty overwhelmed and now you're just absolutely confused i feel that you are ready to move forward you now have gathered the strength to move forward the willingness and determination to move forward but yes there is still a lot of wishful thinking that you do okay i feel that you still keep going back to the past and dreaming about this person think about this person okay day dreaming about this person here okay now when you comes to your person out here Okay. Now after the breakup after the separation here your person here or whatever arguments that you've had here this person now has realized that they love you. They realize that they want this with you. If commitment was a problem here I feel this person is coming to a point where now they realize like you know what I am okay with this commitment I'm okay uh, being with him okay. So there is a connection here where this person wants a relationship with you. If you guys were dating they want to convert it into an exclusive relationship if you guys are in a marriage they want to stay in the marriage they don't want to leave you if this person was not ready to uh, give you commitment they're ready to be in a relationship with you is what i'm getting here there is a reconciliation on this person's mind so if you think that something is over and dead with which it is from your side here guess what i don't think you're going to be single any longer they're coming in they're coming in with a relationship they're coming with a lot of awakenings a lot of realizations you know which uh, they wouldn't have had if you wouldn't have walked away or if you wouldn't have let it go but yeah this person here is coming towards you wanting to offer your relationship wanting to be in a relationship they feel you guys are just perfect for each other here okay but yes there is a reconciliation here that this person wants however it's not going to happen very quick so for a lot of you i do feel that this person here do does want a relationship with you they probably even want to move forward with you but their approach towards this relationship is more like one step at a time okay i feel that this person here wants to take things very slow very very slow you are definitely dealing with someone here who hates drama so not for all of you but yes i am going to say it because um Yeah I am your reader and I need to tell you a few things here but yes if you every single time you are in this person's life and you have a tendency of creating some kind of drama some kind of chaos or you make these um uh, um how do I say if you bring a lot of toxicity in their life not saying that you do but for them they probably think you do if you're doing that if you want this person or if you kind of make these very big gestures of love you know acts of love this person does not like it they like to keep it very low so this person out here however no matter how much they love you and even if they want a reconciliation they want a very cool calm approach towards this which is why i feel in the beginning when we saw the knight of swords there is some communication coming in it's going to get a little rough but eventually it will lead to this here so this person out here uh after a long waiting period after making you wait so much right this person is still very patient about it but yeah uh there is no restlessness in this person's side like no impulsiveness out here okay i feel that this person here wants to keep keep a very balanced calm relaxed a very cool calm approach out here okay they want to keep it very moderate here so they're not excited like they're not coming in with their energy but like you know i want this relationship right now and neither are they completely laid back about it but they want to keep it very balanced okay so yeah uh this person that you're dealing with one thing i need to know is that this person does not like drama like i said this person does not like drama they don't like huge big displays of emotions here so try to keep your emotions in control when you're with them because that's something that they don't like regardless this person here they do want a relationship yes it is there they do want love with you but i feel that this person here wants to move into a calm into a better place with you so if you're uh, at a distance then this person here probably wants to uh, travel towards you or travel with you if there is no communication between you both then this person wants to find a peaceful resolution they want peace and harmony i'm getting peace and harmony a lot of times like okay you know what like relax let's just um, chill let's not fight let's not try to you know um um you know bite each other's head off let's have a more patient approach to this and um 
let's just not make it toxic is what I'm getting here. Now for your outcome here. Yes. Uh, what I'm getting here in the outcome is that there is still a sense of one person here being very rigid very rigid okay very uh, there's someone who's lacking the flexibility here but still I do feel that there is going to be one person here who probably is ready to take control of the situation okay I feel this is you rather than them coming in I feel this is you who's taking control of the of your life taking control of your situation and there is a lot of forward planning that you're wanting to do here okay uh, forward planning in a way where um, it's like you are over and done with this okay because this thing has hurt you so bad that it has just forced you to move away from this relationship I feel that now you're ready to move to the next status of your life out here but I don't feel it is with this person here you probably feel with this person it's been a it, it's probably a failed long distance relationship for a few of you but I do feel that there is future planning and you are moving forward taking control of your life taking control of your emotions trying to be more practical trying to be more logical and moving forward with a mindset of wanting to explore your options or wanting to move ahead expanding your horizons here okay i don't feel there is progress here that you're making but progress is more planning your future away from this person rather than with this person okay because for a lot of you here i feel that there's so much disappointment here that you probably are just like you know what it's just a fantasy that this person and me can ever be together because we're never on the same page and and um, the moment you choose to move on, right, that's when this person wants to come in. Okay. So, and this person is making you wait terribly, which is another thing, which is why you want to move on. Okay. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.